So now February 25th, 2015, the incessant 18 year, 18 year long Swiss Nazi terror on me and my family adds a new chapter to the long list of Swiss lies by the highly corrupt authorities and the wicked Swiss mind. On February 20, 22nd, someone sent me a mail concerning several articles in several big Swiss newspapers of February 4th, 2015, a few weeks back, in which Swissy as usual is telling lies about me and paving the way to put me in prison again for my YouTube videos, where the Swiss Nazi authorities are Nazi-like teaming up together with the newspapers as usual, just like in Nazi Germany of the 1930s. And in that, those recent articles in several uh, Swiss newspapers, they also talk about a new video that popped up on YouTube showing that violent, corrupt Swiss Nazi cop Hans Rudolf Kuni aggressing me and my family, for which the Swiss fasc fascist justice department sentenced me and sent me a counter-terrorist squad for intimidation. So then a few days ago I tried to localize that video on the internet but couldn't find it, thinking it was probably another sly trick by the Swiss police making that video themselves as they've done before with some text in 2011 in order to attack me and be able to search my computer, steal it and never see it again. So now, with sly Swiss tactics, they probably use that same trick to search and steal or search and destroy my computer in order to stop my work and sabotage my historical analysis about Octagon in the Alps. So if this happens, please someone help me get an old desktop computer, otherwise I cannot make any more videos and will have to stop my work for good because I have no money for a new computer, so if you won't see any more of my videos, you know what happened. And for that case, I will publish our phone number. So that's plus 41 for Switzerland, 31 for Bern, and then 859-0557. So plus 41318590557. I will put that in the links underneath the video. And it's really awful for us as a family, you know, uh, due to that Swiss terror to um, to present our entire, you know, uh, privacy and our, our lives, you like, you know, like in a, like in a shop window here on the internet. But there's nothing else I can do. What can I do? The whole system is rotten here. It's Swiss Nazi prejudice, and so. Then yesterday, uh, February 24th, 2015, the mysterious mailer sent me the link of the video about which they talk in the Swiss newspapers. So I watched this this morning, and to my surprise, it was very decent and very well made, where this person just used my very two first videos on my Chatsy Frats channel here, translated the words from German with English subtitles so you can all understand it, and with a few special effects. Nothing criminal about it, and just free speech and telling the truth. I think the video is very well made, and in case um, it was not the usual Swiss police fraud, I was glad to see that some of my followers are backing me up with a more professional type of video than I could possibly made, as I'm still such a jerk with computers and never really learned it. So here's the name, Inglorious Justice, Eine Göttliche Gerechtigkeit, meaning Divine Justice, on channel Polizei Albtraum, meaning Police Nightmare. Good name. And the video only tells the truth, and in English this time. Well done, bro, whoever you are. Only now, Swissy, as usual, is trying to make me, the immigrant, responsible for it, for things I haven't even done, thus trying to get me in jail again, where they will suicide me as announced by the Swiss police, on more than one occasion. So dear anonymous friend, could you please step forward and announce yourself and take responsibility for that really great video you made turning my original footage into a much better 
an understandable film. So Swissy won't throw their terror all over me and my family again. Maybe you are brought in a country far away, so Swissy can't legally harass you. I'll understand you if you don't want to do that, and will accept while always cherishing you as my anonymous friend. And in any case, don't take the video off, because it's good and I like it. And Swissy doesn't like it. The video tells the truth in spite of those Swiss Mafia methods, and the truth will win. Magna est veritas et prevalebit. The truth is mighty and will prevail. I hope everyone out there will copy the video so Swissy won't be able to delete it and destroy the evidence with that. And this is in fact what the Swiss People's Mafia is doing. Criminal Mafia intimidation to respect the Omerta. Swiss laws of silence for no tongue to utter the unspeakable. This is the Swiss Nazi direct democracy when two Swiss Nazis democratically say you have to be an immigrant criminal. Then the entire Swiss Nazi people repeat in chorus that you are a filthy subhuman immigrant criminal. Now massively setting up the newspapers as well in that well-oiled Swiss Nazi orchestra when everyone has tuned in, sending the Swiss Gestapo again, defining democratically the horrendous unanimous Swiss crime against humanity. So me, being a political target by the Swiss Nazis, I feel like some Jew in World War II with two questions circling the mind. What will they do when they arrest me? Kill me as announced? They would? Or will I be lucky? Jews didn't have a visa to fly, I don't have a passport. Well, wait until the very last moment. What else to do? When will it be too late? When, what, if? And in the meantime, Swiss is organizing like a clockwork and democratically preparing their crime as always. Because if we do it all together en masse and the whole group, then bad conscience is not an issue. Thus, Swissy reasoning. This is why the prisons in Swissyland are overfilled with innocent uh, immigrants, just as you could witness in my case here. And first, the Swissies advertise free speech and democracy and clean Switzerland. But when you actually use it, they beat you down with it so long and continuously that whenever you hear the words free speech and democracy you automatically duck as in the beaten dog reflex. And in fact in Switzerland the base of all evil, everything which is not forbidden is compulsory. So free speech is actually a trap which the authorities can use to get you. And 18 long years ago in 1997, when Swissy first arrested me and kept me in an extradition prison for one and a half month for nothing and nothing at all, Swiss Nazi thought to be dealing with some stupid immigrant refugee from Africa. But thank God I'm not as stupid as I look. And slowly inside me something developed that made me public enemy number one in Switzerland worthy being arrested by their Swiss counter-terrorist police for nothing and nothing at all. And one day, Swissy, you would have wished not ever have woken up the core of a South African. Swissy terrorizes innocent people and their defenseless family and their children for nothing and against Swiss banksters robbing the world against drug dealers and child molesters. Swissy police does nothing and nothing at all. What the Swiss fear most is the truth, which makes them violent and unpredictable like the devil smelling holy water. Swiss servants, Satan's seed.